formula EF is equal to CH2O because uh, one carbon, two hydrogens, one oxygen. That is the simplest whole number ratio. So this is our empirical formula and we have proved that it is CH2O. Let's do the next question. An organic compound E has the following composition by mass. Okay, so C 48.7%, uh, H 8.1%, O 43.2%. Again, let's make a table. Now this example is very important because you will get to learn something new in this. So N is equal to, again, taken the mass as 100. So N is equal to 48.7% over 12. N is equal to 8.1 over 1. N is equal to 43.2 over 16. So this is 12. Now, uh, let's do these calculations. So, 48.7 over 12 is equal to 4. Now, 8.1 over 1 is equal to 8.1. And 43.2 over 16 is equal to 2.7. So, now, 4 is to 8.1 is to 2.7 so now if you divide divide all of these by 4 uh, no not 4 sorry the, the, the smallest number is 2.7 so we will divide all of these by 2.7 so 2.7 2.7 2.7 so now when we divide all of these by 2.7 we get 1.5 is to 3 is to 1. Now this is not the simplest whole number ratio because we have a 1.5 over here and that's not a whole number. So we will multiply it uh, with 2 because we know that when we multiply this by 2 we will get 3 is to 6 is to 2. Now we've got the simplest whole number ratio. So the empirical formula of E will be equal to C3 H6 O2. So this is the empirical formula of E, the simplest whole number ratio. And uh, this was the, the new thing in this was that we didn't straight away get the whole number. So you know that multiply it with such a number that the decimal is converted into a whole number. Now uh, let's do the last example, which is this. So a, thir a third poly polycarboxylic acid. So, we, uh, so there was something earlier in this question, but we are not dealing with that. Let's just... Uh, go straight away that the compound is W and the percentage composition by mass is this a, a C 35.8% H 4.5% and O 59.7% so again table so N we again take the mass as 100 so N is equal to 35.8 over 12 n is equal to 4.5 over 1 n is equal to 59.7 over 16 so when we do this calculation we get 3 we get 4.5 we get 1.25 so it's 3 is to 4.5 is to 1.25 okay so uh, so not one point uh, no sorry sorry I did a mistake I made a mistake this is not 1.25 this is 3.73 sorry I'm sorry I'm really sorry about that this is 3.73 so we erase the 1.25 and we write 3.73. 3 point seven three. So the we divide, the smallest number is 3 in each case. So divide by 3. 
divided by uh, this is 4.5 uh, divided by 3 this as well divided by 3 so we get